The brief scene you are about to see brings up several issues regarding sexual harassment. It has no final ending, yet the story reflects many variables that your group can discuss which would lead to a variety of outcomes. After your group discussion, continue the tape for a reality check segment on some basic facts regarding peer sexual harassment. Please, Camilla, you could at least nod. <laughs> if I'd wanted to peek, I'd have come in before you got your pants on. Mm. But really, Lance, with a body like yours, you ought to work without your shirt. You'd be a lot cooler in the kitchen. But the waitress pickup window would be much hotter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relax. I just came in to get a can of tomato sauce for Arnie. And I thought she needs some help. Yeah, those cans of tomato sauce are really heavy. What's your hurry, Lance? We thought you could help us rearrange the stock. Maybe we could test the freshness of the buns. Come on, Sonia, my girl's waiting for me. Hey, I'm just talking about product quality here. We all want the same thing, don't we, Lance? Hey, it's cool you think I'm good looking. I'm flattered. But I'd hate to lose my girlfriend if she saw this and misunderstood. See you tomorrow. It is too bad he's stuck on Felicia. He is really good looking. He gets so nervous when we're alone with him. But he's cute when he's rattled. <laughs> he's cute all the time. <laughs> Don't forget, I've got wrestling practice tomorrow. I won't be until five. Okay, kid. See you there. You could always skip practice and wrestle us, Lance. <laughs> You don't want to work a second shift? What do you mean? Oh, Sonia and Kimberly are always hitting on you. Come on, Felicia, you know. Hey, they wouldn't say the things they do if you didn't encourage them. Oh, I'm too late for the floor show. You've already changed. Give me a break, Kimberly. Why don't you give me a break, Lance? Some friends are throwing a party tonight. Let's go together. I could get my Uncle Arnie to let us off early. I don't think so. Thanks anyway. You know, Lance, you might just want to be a little nicer to me, or things could take a little turn for the worse. What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe I convince my Uncle Arnie to give you fewer hours, or hire a more dedicated cook, since you seem so eager to get out of here every day. <laughs> you got all the luck, kid. What do you mean? Hey, I'm not blind. I see how Sonya and my niece are on you all the time. Hey, maybe I ought to start working on my abs, huh? If that's what a flat stomach gets a guy. <laughs> Actually, Arnie, I wish you'd ask him to stop coming on to me all the time. You know, it's not right. Hey, don't look to me for help, Lance. The way I see it, you don't got no problem. <laughs> Sexual harassment can be experienced by both young men and women. In a report from the American Association of University Women, 85% of girls and 76% of boys reported some experience of sexual harassment in school. Everyone has their own frame of reference from which they live their lives. A comment that may be no big deal to one person might make someone else very uncomfortable. Any unwanted sexual advances, verbal or nonverbal, is harassment. Sexual harassment is illegal at school and in the workplace. The effects of sexual harassment on a person can be devastating. All relationships should be based upon mutual respect, and that includes respecting boundaries drawn by another. One sexual comment can be unwelcome. When those comments become repetitive, the intimidating effects can be very damaging to a person. Harassment if ignored or not reported, is likely to continue and become worse rather than go away. If you feel you are being sexually harassed, talk to the person. Tell them you don't appreciate their behavior and you'd like for it to stop. Some people don't even realize that what they are saying or doing is really that offensive. If the person's actions continue, report it to the proper person at work or at school. <laughs> 